Coming up next on The Jeff Curley Show, he spent most of his adult life in corporate America, but now he has dedicated his life to giving back. His journey just ahead. Many are predicting that the worst is yet to come, which is unfortunate, said one person here. Until now, they've enjoyed the reputation of being the nation's icebox. Watched a burglar in his home this morning by webcam. As a journalist of over 25 years, stories are what make my world turn. Reporting live from the Dallas Newsroom tonight, Jeff Crilly, Fox 4 News. But in 2008, I took the jump from my familiar life and started a PR firm from my home. We're talking about anyone with a camcorder like the one I'm using becomes a television network. We started slowly growing the company and we now have over a hundred clients and we've branched into the world of live digital broadcasting. I now own eight different TV studios and have a huge team. And the stories that I now get to share are sometimes the most important of my life. Life has a funny way of coming around full circle. This is The Jeff Crilly Show. Well, I think all of us reach a point in our lives when we're searching for meaning. What was this all about? I, as you saw in that clip, uh, I spent a whole lifetime in TV news and then I decided to break out and, and have another journey. And now I'm just loving my life. I get to work with my kids and, and tell amazing stories like the one that my next guest has. Ashik Kakur is my, uh, my next guest. He's with Mi uh, Mentor for Life. Thank you for coming on my show. Thank you for having me. It's great to be part of your, your community. Absolutely. Well, I want the audience to get to know your heart. Uh, you did spend a whole career in corporate America, and I'm sure that was fulfilling for a time. Absolutely. What are you doing now? So right now, Jeff, you know, I'm working on a, a project called Mentor for Life, and it's, de it's dedicated to help people who don't get access to tools to make themselves successful in their journey through life. And the three aspects I'm working on are mental health, um, financial advocacy and also career planning and it's very we just started the, the journey so we don't know where it's heading but it's re really about helping people as they as they achieve their dreams and try to achieve their dreams how do we help them situate in in those three spokes and i'm, I'm proud of you for um being open about mental health issues because i think we as a planet you know went into a shock with covid sure. and you can't just take people's lives and just put them on lockdown and and not expect that there's been some damage. What are you seeing on the front line of, of your advocacy for mental health? Are, are we, um, as a planet, still healing? Well, I think as it relates to COVID, absolutely. I think people are still coming out of their, out of their sort of cocoons, if you will, and sort of the, the collateral damage of what's gone on. And for me, bringing out my mental health story was just to be transparent about what I'm about. I've been successful in my career. I've been fortunate to be part of a uh, very strong companies and very fortunate in, in my progression, all along with you know, dealing with a mental health illness. And I, I want to help others to say it's not a bad thing to talk about mental health. We have to get in front of it, in front of it so we get it uh, part of mainstream society and get, get, get people aware of it. And everyone I've talked to when I've addressed it have some sort of story that they're happy to share about something in their lives or their, or their, or their touch points about mental health. So it's not a subject people will talk about it up front, but if you start talking about it, there's plenty to be said. Mm -hmm. I love that. And you're very public about it. We're going to show an article that um, featured you and uh, the headline on the article says it all. Uh, you do podcasts. You're, you're very open about this. Did it take um, a lot for you to go public with your own battles? No, it um, became um, a responsibility. I felt like I just, just you know, I was giving the the forum to be told, to be given something to be said uh, during the month of Mental Health Awareness Month in May. And I used to, it came natural to us. Let's just talk about it. And we didn't know where it was going to go. We didn't know how it was going to operate. It was my first time going public. But it's my story, and I'm not shy. I, I, I had been in the past. It was something sort of kept behind the scenes. But it's out there now in the in the Ethernet and in the world, and it's just about let's just get, get in front of this and talk about it and get people to be safe about feeling absolutely and and one thing that helped you through your mental health um struggles is giving back and i want to talk about a charity that you're very passionate about wipe out kids cancer we're going to put this up on the pay on the screen and as we scroll down and i want you to talk about that organization what it does and why it touches your heart sure so wipe out kids cancer i i uh, journeyed into that in that company in 2018, I was a volunteer for 15 months, having lost my job from uh, the poor corporate America. And I just, it, it changed my life because if for the first time I realized I had a 
purpose to help others that needed help. And, and the organization is phenomenal. I'm still very close to it. They do have very three very big spokes of how they help people, both families and and, and patients, and also a p- a pediatric cancer research. And Cindy Brinker Simmons is the founder, and she's mm-hmm. an incredible stalwart in this in this community. And I, I give her a lot of credit to what she's done. And it's just about how do we continue the process of helping kids with cancer? That's what really, really was a wonderful journey for me. And and you mentioned um, three spokes. Oh, what specifically? How does it help the kids? So, so you know, when you get pe- diagnosed with ca- pediatric cancer, you're as a parent, you don't get that over the phone. You don't get, get kind of anonymously come to the office, and so you don't know what to what to expect. You had a blood diagnosis, maybe lymph nodes have been swollen, something's not right. You go to that office, and oh yeah, and. Excuse me. You're told your child has cancer. And, and from that, you go to the emergency room for further testing. Well, you haven't packed a bag. You're going to be in a hospital for four or five days, and we have bags that are available to the hospitals at Children's and South, uh, UT Southwestern that allow the kids to have some sort of, you know, sundries just to keep them situated for those four or five days. That's a big spoke that we've always developed and that Wipeout Kids Cancer has developed. And and for us, that was very important and very well appreciated across the community. And that's the, se- the second spoke is now you have a family of, with, a, with a patient with cancer, a child with cancer, and you have siblings and you have parents who have just, their lives have been turned upside down. Well, we'll take those families, that, you know, my, my wife, we had 26 families, and we would do events for them. We would go take them to parks or to, to the restaurants. Or we had hockey tickets, almost like we had season hockey tickets for families that wanted to get, so they ha- can get a semblance of what their life should be a normalcy mm. through this journey. And the third is pediatric cancer research. So we gave away half a million dollars in 2021 toward pediatric cancer research. And it was a very important initiative because we want to be part of the, of the solution as well. So we're hoping in the short, medium, and long term is how, how the, the, those spokes are situated. It's very balanced that way. Sure. And I know another thing you're very passionate about is your family. We found a picture on your Facebook. Let's put the, this, is a, this is a big family. It's a big, this is a big crew. So this is... New York, San Francisco, coming to coming to Lucas, Texas, where we live, for our Thanksgiving celebration. So, there's my brother and her and his family, and my sister and her family, and, and mine. And it was just that whatever twenty of us that just enjoyed family time, and um, we threw around a football, and someone bought some some T-shirts for us. So, it was a commemoration that we do, and we we still are very close, and it's a very uh, important part of our of our uh, DNA for sure. And I'm sure your family is very proud of what you're doing now with your life. They, they are. I mean, it's it's a bit of uh, a journey. You know, we don't know where this is going to land, but there's a, there's definitely a vision behind it, and there's definitely a, a semblance of where we want to go. So it's 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 interesting because I keep my kids in the loop on what's going on in the business, and they say they they learn about what we're trying to do and situate it, and they're very excited. They're curious. It's not traditional corporate America, but it's a way of of really wanting to give back and help others. Sure, we've got about two minutes left, and sure. so I, I want you to speak to the the person out there who is. Uh, either struggling with their mental health or are wondering, you know, is this all there is? Yeah. Uh, what do you want to say to that person? Look, you know, we've all been in that. I certainly have been in that corner of the house where you just can't get out and you don't know, you don't know where to turn. And my purpose for these forums is just to get to that person that you, you refer to. Don't be shy about what's going on in your mind. Make sure you reach out for resources. Take care of yourself. Reach out for help. There's plenty of help. There's plenty of resources out there. We can I'll share with that afterwards, but it's about being transparent with how you're feeling so that people can really help you and then you can help yourself and you'll be ready to, at some point in the future to help others as well. It's a, it's a pay it forward type of deal. So Outstanding. That's a great way to end the segment. We're also going to leave with your LinkedIn page. Uh, please get a hold of Ashik Kakur for all your, uh, all your needs. Uh, Mentor for life. Thanks for coming on the show. Thank you so much for having me. You bet. That's it for now. We'll see you next time.